So I met a legend in the movie industry a couple weeks ago. And I thought that one day we would meet as equals, but it instead it was just all a little off-putting. Let me explain. I have reviewed a lot of movies with no googly ammy. He's a bit of a meme on the channel. Yo, Mr. Gigi, I heard you got a little problem, homeboy. Up there on YouTube thinking you got the right to judge movies and whatnot. He's a bit of a meme in general. He is Hector. He is him. But he fully embraces that meme, going so far as to ask to have his name changed to Hector in a project that he's in, if it's possible, just to keep up appearances. I mean, he autographs his name as Hector. So I follow No Googly Ami on Instagram, right? Where he has some questionable posts, but that's neither here nor there. And No does a decent amount of meetups that are usually at car shows because No was in Gordon Glass, the funniest movie cover of all time. He was obviously Hector in the OG Fast and Furious. That's where I knew him to be Hector. That's where Hector was born. Quickly looking at his IMDb, it looks like that was his first acting credit as Hector. And randomly, his first first acting credit is Latin guy on bicycle in The Offspring's Pretty Fly for a White Guy music video. What a fucking entrance, Noah. <laughs> Thanks for giving me an excuse to play that song nine times in a row. So I saw that he was gonna be at a meetup that I could actually drive to. And my first thought was, I got something going on that day, but I can't not go, right? No matter what the circumstances are, I can't at least not go meet the guy. So I go online and I check the pricing and realize that I have to buy a VIP ticket to meet him. So I bought one. I didn't blink twice. I don't give a fuck about price. I mean, this is Latino convict we're talking about here. Yeah, I guess that's what he was called in national security. I guess he was in national security. I don't, he still surprises me to this day. I've looked through his acting credits plenty of times. I'll still see one and be like, what? Who were you in that? Oh, a Mexican guy? Okay. But yeah, anyway, like I was saying, money's not an issue in that moment, you know? Especially if you can come up big with today's sponsor. If you really think you know who, I got the perfect sponsor for you. On the dog fantasy, got the nuggets in the heat. Gotta pick them right, cash out, ooh. Pick the players in the stats you can choose. Higher, lower than that, up to you. Pick between two and five, you can choose your guys. You got confidence in to make it true. Set up your picks, try to get them all right. Here's the states where you can pick them on site. Yo, get higher than 25, I just might. You can make 20 times your money one night. If you are interested in checking out Underdog Fantasy, you can use code MrGG and get your first deposit doubled up to $100 by Underdog. Link below, and thank you Underdog Fantasy for sponsoring this video. So I get there, and keep in mind, this is a whole ass car show. I paid for the entire event. But my plan is to just meet Noel, then leave. Oh, that's a sick car on my way out. I had shit to do that day. Like I said, I, I, I just in and out, that's it. So it's a massive place, but I'm able to see the back of his head from like a mile out. And so I go over there and go to the line. And while in line, I make multiple points of awkward eye contact with him because he just would randomly keep scanning the line. So I'd have to do the, the oh shit. Well, Cause like, what else am I gonna look at? Well, I guess I can look at the cars. Yeah, those things matter. But like, no Google Emmys right there. <laughs> like, once I posted the picture of me meeting him, some people had actually asked me, oh, did he know you? No, why would he know me? <laughs> why would no Google Emmy know who I am? Oh, Mr. Gigi. Which is a statement I a thousand percent believe in. Although, I will say in those multiple eye contact moments, I did have the fleeting thought. What if he does know me? Like, what if his nephew watches me and he just showed him one day, like, hey, check out this guy who mentions you a lot. You know how many random people I've had in the movie industry reach out to me saying like, hey, I was this guy in this movie that you shit on, good stuff. Oh, li yeah, life's weird like that, I don't know. But anyway, I'm there, it's not a huge line. I ended up being in and out in 30 minutes. And as I'm nearing no, I start to see his whole setup a little clearer, right? He had this big sign on the side with his Instagram and some of the biggest movies that he's been in. And right in front of him is a table set up with merchandise. I can see some Fast and Furious car models, some little Hot Wheels branded Fast and Furious cars that I'm assuming he'll sign for you, but you obviously have to buy them off him first. So there I am. And 
the line's taking a little longer than I would expect. I'm looking up and everyone's up there for, for a minute, but they're not talking with Noel. It looks like they're all just busy buying shit, which is not crazy. I don't know, I guess he's got hella diehards who wanna buy all his shit. Anyway, I, I finally make it up to him, and at this point he decides to sit down. Okay. He was probably tired, I understand. I didn't go up to him trying to give him this big spiel about what the fuck, hey dude, I make movie reviews and I actually make a, I made a lot of memes and zoomed in on your face a bunch of times. Just a nice, simple, hey man, honor to meet you, blah, blah, blah. He daps me up and then he just immediately starts breaking down the table. Okay, so these are worth this, these are worth that. And I didn't know this, but I actually caught the table in my photos. So I wanna show you the little flyer that was on the table. Knowles 8x10 photos autographed. $25. Fan supplied items autographed. $20 per item. Meaning he could have signed my copy of Force of Execution. Although I doubt he remembers making this. Photo op, your camera or cell phone, $25. Show special, one autograph and one photo op, $40. Bargain of the century. Now, that's all fine and dandy, right? But there is a problem. And this is where all the dots started to connect. You remember how I said everybody was buying shit? I also forgot to mention that everybody also had this confusing look on their face right before buying said shit. There was a lot of hesitancy in the air. And I'm like 95% positive that's because nobody in line thought we had to pay to take a photo with him because we paid for VIP tickets. And luckily I screenshotted this. Please read along with me to make sure I'm not crazy. VIP general admission includes early entry two hours before Roland, meet and greet with Hector, along with a picture and autograph. So yeah, with VIP, you can get in early, two hours, cool. But I would be shocked to think that the majority of people didn't just buy the VIP to just meet Noel. And I want you to keep in mind, Regular general admission rounded out to about $39 and did not say anything about the inclusion of a meet and greet. And VIP general admission, the one we all bought because we're here early, rounded out to about $91, over double the price of general admission. And like I said, I clearly didn't mind paying extra to get a photo and an autograph with Noel. I only minded once I realized I had to do it twice. So in that moment, as he tells me all this, I awkwardly obliged, as I'm sure most did, and I jumped on that hot, steamy special for a photo and an autograph. Just ended up being this weird thing, like, you got Apple Pay? Yeah, 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 I, yeah I got Apple Pay, yeah, yeah. So in addition to the cars, he had stacks of two different photos on printed photo paper. One of them was a screen grab from the OG Fast and Furious with Paul Walker, and the other was a photo from what looks like the behind the scenes of Fast 7 in this clip where Noel got punched in the face. They weren't the most crisp photos, but I wanted an autograph and I didn't have anything on me. I just do find it kind of funny that I could have uh, brought in a cleaner photo than this one and had him sign that instead and paid five less dollars instead of just taking this one. Which isn't a criticism, by the way. It's just something I find funny. If no wants to sell whatever he's able to sell at his meetups, go nuts. I love to buy shit from people I like. So why would he not do that? The market's obviously there. The only real issue was just that little surprise purchase aspect that I mentioned. So I did take it on the chin, but maybe I could get some answers. So I'd actually emailed one of the organizers beforehand because I wasn't too sure about when the meet and greet started. It wasn't really clear. And they ended up answering right away, super professional. So a few days after the event, I was gonna record this video and I thought, well, I let me just see if they'll answer again. So I asked them if I was missing something here. Why did I basically pay twice for the meet and greet with Noel? Like, was it a weird miscommunication or what gives? And they surprisingly responded. Let me look into that information for you. I'll get back to you ASAP. Eight days later, no response. So I hit them with a follow-up email. They still have not responded. Which kinda sucks, because if it's the organizer's fault, I wanna know that, because I would look at that meeting in a very different lens. Because it's very possible that Noel just didn't know that we already all paid extra for a photo, a promised photo, and promised autograph. Maybe he just always has this little payment set up at the table for general admission and didn't know any better. But because I didn't get any clear answer from the organizer, I now have to float around the idea that Maybe he did know. Maybe this is like the hustle. I mean, you think most people coming up to meet him, being all happy to meet him, are gonna be like, oh, 
Oh yeah, no, I already paid for this in my ticket and all, so take a photo with me now. There's maybe even the crazy world where that $50 upcharge was literally just to get in two hours early. But like I said, that part doesn't make sense because the VIP said, meet Hector. The general did not say that. And it becomes a little bit more weird because I stalked Instagram a little bit to see if I could find other people that were there. And I saw a video of him at that event talking to a huge crowd. So I think he was there a lot longer than just the two hours before entry meeting the general admission. And I hate to sound like some fucking elite in classism here, because of my complaint, uh, hey, general admission brokies, I'm better than you. Why did you meet him too? We paid the same. You saved money, in fact. I got no issue with them. <laughs> All the way down there. I got no issue with them. But I just already paid 50 extra bones, dog. Just let me walk by you and hit me with a point and smile and I'll go home. So yeah, that whole thing left a sour taste in my mouth. But like, Am I still gonna hang this up? Absolutely. Do I got a little side eye for Noel because of that situation? Also, yes. I mean, I have a clear bias here because I wanna like Noel, but this legendary photo is unfortunately always gonna have this weird, muddy context. I'm not bold enough to label this video, I got scammed by my hero, but some nights when I'm lying in bed, it feels like it. I just gotta meet Danny and I will have officially met every Mexican actor in Hollywood. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe. Second channel is doing things and stuff. Invis.tv slash MrGG. Get new barware and merch. Gamer subs, go to MrGG, 10% off. And as always, I am MrGG and I am out.